It's Bonnie. Happy Thursday. I am back on this beautiful, sunny day. It's cold outside, though. It's like not not feeling too summery, but I feel like I'm doing like all summer videos today. Seriously. Oh, I have I have lipstick on my hand here. I just did a I just did an Avon video. <laughs> and I didn't this lipstick stays on really well, by the way. It didn't come off. I'm wearing an orangey shade of lipstick and I am burning an orange candle. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I am burning one of the four glass top candles from Bath & Body Works this spring. It is called Spring Clementine. I actually did a pretty good test on this one yesterday. Um, and then I lit this one up again, the second burn about, about 45 minutes ago. This is what the candle looks like. And it has got, check it out, one of the glass top lids. It's funny. I feel like I'm like the only person on the planet who didn't know these lids were having problems, but it's weird. I went into the store probably by like about a week and a half ago and I picked up Spring Clementine and the lid did not have an issue because I took the lid off, I smelled it and the lid was on pretty snugly. So I feel like this is like a sporadic issue that maybe not all of the candles are affected by this, but I'm going to show you the problem. So I have pink Prosecco frosting uh, from last year, which by the way, I love this candle. This candle is amazing. Why they didn't bring this one back, I don't know. It's pink sugared uh, buttercream, fresh blackberry, and chilled prosecco. Oh my gosh, this one is wonderful. Uh, the lid design is a little bit different. You can see um, there's more of like a star pattern in the center, and this one's got a little bit more of a clear pattern. And then they both have like the rubber seal on them, but I'm back. I had to go grab Coco. She was barking, but <laughs> I think that's where I left off. Okay. I've grabbed my uh, fresh mint tea tree, which I have to review. And I put my, um, what is this thing called? The pink Prosecco uh, frosting lid on, the pink lid on. Now watch. There is some suction here. I mean, it's not like a huge amount of suction. I would never like walk around and just like, you know, carry the candle by the lid, but you can tell it's on there securely. Now, the orange lid, it's, it, it, it doesn't even like sit on here right. It's just terrible. So um, it's an interesting conundrum because these candles are pricey. I mean, $32.95, unless you've got a set price sale like $12.95, uh, these are not the best deal. Um, I always keep the lids. I'll have to say, if I burn one of these down, I'm keeping this lid. This lid is beautiful. I'm not ever going to get rid of this lid. I actually like keeping lids anyway. <laughs> but especially this lid, I mean, you could use it as a coaster. Um, you could put, you know, like a perfume bottle on it. I would definitely reuse the lid. So I don't know. I mean, is this like a bonus to get a candle with a glass lid. I'm not sure that people love the glass lid. They're front of the holidays a little bit, but I don't know. I think a lot of people just want the candle and um, the lid is not worth the extra price unless you get it for a, you know, a lower set price. So they have flower cart, they have driftwood waves, um, they have the spring clementine, which I'm going to review, and they have, of course, champagne toast, <laughs> which they always have. Um, you can collect these lids. Like I said, they're beautiful. Um, they're also very giftable. I mean, when you give someone a candle with a glass lid, it looks a little classier. There's just something about getting the glass lid uh, that makes it, you know, a fun and uh, beautiful. It's delightful. I can't stop smelling this one. <laughs> so... I, I don't know. I, you know, these glass top lids, I wish they fit better. Um, they're fun to gift. I like the lids, but, you know, the price point is just crazy. So we shall see going forward uh, what happens with the lids. So now we're going to get to sparkling clementine. It is sugared clementine, neroli blossoms, and sweet amber. Uh, I'm getting a very low throw on this one. I would say low to, I don't even think it, what last night, I mean, we had it burning and everyone's like, can you smell this? Can you, we, we really couldn't smell it. Um, very low throw on mine. Uh, I did look at the reviews cause I'm seeing it gets like, eh, like 4.1 just to see like, am I completely off base here? I'm not 
if I'm, am I not smelling anything? <laughs> and um, I feel like it was kind of a split. Half the people got a strong throw and half the people got no throw. Again, there's a lot of discrepancy here with the lid and the throw. So my, my thought is that they probably came from two different suppliers and you're getting, um, getting kind of a different candle here. The scent that I do get is, um, it's kind of like a sweet orange. It's not the orange I necessarily want. I don't feel like anyone has ever done my perfect orange candle. Uh, I like Kringle's orange. Um, I like the homeworks. I like the orange dreamsicle one they did, but no one has ever done a perfect orange in my opinion. It's got to be a hard scent. I like orange vanilla foodie candles. Like I want a dreamsicle. That's the type of orange I want. Uh, this is a little bit more of an orangey sugary floral scent, which is nice. Um, I definitely like that. It's a nice like aroma, but it was, it was really light. Um, maybe a bathroom, but Again, $32.95 for a candle with a defective lid and a light throw. You're going to kind of think about that a little bit. Like, what do you want to do? <laughs> so anyway, uh, let me know your thoughts on Spring Clementine. I'm kind of wishing I got Flower Cart uh, just because oh, Flower Cart's getting like really poor reviews too. I don't know. That's kind of interesting. Again, mixed reviews. I don't know. I Maybe if like semi-annual sale, these are really on sale, 75% off, I'll pick up flower cart. Uh, but right now I'm kind of like uh, not, too, not too impressed right now. Uh, I cannot wait to review this one though. I keep smelling this one cold. I really like, I like this better than Eucalyptus Ferment. I like the mint better. So anyway, let me know what you guys think. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.